Hi, everybody. It's Coach Troy from Metro Lutheran Ministries Financial Opportunity Center. Here to talk again about your money. Now, for today, I'm going to disappear from view and let you just pay attention to what's on the screen because we're going to discuss this question that's up above me here. Why does your FICO score matter? You know, a lot of people hear the phrases about Experian and TransUnion, Equifax, the major credit reporting companies, and they hear the offers to get your score better, but they don't necessarily understand what impact that could have. So let's make myself disappear and let's watch a little bit um, for a second or two and figure this out. Why does your credit score matter? Well, we're going to take a look at one thing you might want to do in your life and we'll see if it makes a difference for you. So let's say you're going to buy a used car. You're going to go to this lovely uh, used car dealership and you're going to find a car that you like. And that car is going to be uh, under these kind of terms, okay? So the dealership's going to come to you and they're going to say, well, you can buy this car. We're going to finance the $10,000 that it's going to cost. And we'll give you four years or 48 months to pay for it. Now, everybody has the same thing. You're going to get $10,000 that you have to borrow. They're going to give you four years to pay it back. All right, let's watch what happens with your FICO score. Now, if you have a good FICO score, and that's going to be one that's way up there, 720 to an 850, they're going to give you a low interest rate. And that interest rate is what you're going to see right in this area, that 4.415%, which means your monthly payment in order to make this car yours is $228 a month. And when you pay off that entire loan, you will have paid $927 in interest. So you borrowed 10,000 and then you paid back $10,927. Okay, everybody got that part? That's pretty basic, right? That's the normal kind of thing that can happen. You pay interest, you add up what you've got. So right now you're at 927. All right. Now, if you have the next layer of credit report scores from a 690 up to a 719, well, you're going to get a 5.739 interest rate, which means your monthly payment's gonna go up by $6 every month. And at the end, you're gonna wind up having paid $1,215 in interest. That's not a principal, that's extra interest. So you will have borrowed $10,000, but you'll have paid back 11,215. Now, some of you are already getting the picture here, I think. I mean, let's check in real quick. We're getting this, right? The high, lower our credit score, the higher our interest rate. You got it? Okay, let's go back. All right. If you're at the next level of credit, which is at 660 to 689, in this example, 7.908% interest. So now your monthly payment's gone up $16 a month. You'll have paid back nearly $1,700 just in interest. Well, let's go down again. Let's say your credit's a little lower than that, 620 to 659. Now you're paying 10.686% interest. And again, we've more than doubled the amount of interest that we're paying from our good credit score up there at 720. And we can just continue to make ourselves cry a little bit here. If we to, When we get to the 590 range, now you're looking at credit card style debt. Okay, this is the amount of interest that some credit cards will charge you. Um, and you're paying off $10,000 worth of debt that way. You're up to $282 a month on your monthly payment. You'll have paid over $3,000. But let's say you go to one of those car dealerships that will give you and finance that loan for you if, with a credit score in the 500 range. Now you're looking at 16.8% interest. So you're looking at a, quite an impact on what can happen to you here. So your lower FICO score costs you, well, in our, our example, it can cost you up to $60 more each month for your car payment. It's the same car, it's the same amount of loan. It's just gonna cost you $60 a month more. Break that down, that's $15 a week. $3 for every workday. Difference just because of the FICO score. The other thing is, is it's gonna cost you 
nearly $3,000 more for the exact same car. If you remember, our initial payment was not even $1,000 in interest overall. So it does make a huge difference in terms of what happens to you based on your credit score. Look, if you need to take some time and, and talk about how you can maybe build your credit, maybe you need to get some other debts under control. Remember to check us out at the Financial Opportunity Center. We can give you a hand. It's 816-285-3131 here at the Metro Lutheran Financial Opportunity Center. And remember, feed the pig.